She wants to tell us something. We must do something. Please. To the front. In the name of His Imperial Majesty and the City of Vienna, I hereby arrest Edward Abramovich, also known as Eisenheim the Illusionist, on charges of disturbing public order, charlatanism, and threats against the Empire. Chief Inspector Uhl. You're late. My apologies, Your Highness. I was attending to the loose ends of the case. Are there still loose ends? Very few. Did he do it again? How does he do it? I'm afraid I still don't know. Did you ask him? He's not talking at this point. Well, I'm sure you have methods for that kind of thing. I want you to put an end to it. Surely you have something on him? Something from his past? Yes. Yes, I think I do. In fact, we know all about his life. We've spoken to almost everyone who ever knew him. As a boy, I'm told he had a chance encounter with a traveling magician. of the story was that the man himself then vanished along with the tree who knows what actually happened people began to think he had some kind of special power or at least that he was a bit different. And then he met her. Don't drop it. Careful, you're going to trip. Drop it, you muck snipe. Oh, watch out for that hole, alley rat. Drop it. back in the deck. Now watch. Duchess Fantasian, you can't be in a place like this. They're peasants. I'm 
remember who you are. She was brought back to the castle, and they were forbidden to see each other. But soon, they were doing just that. Over the next few years, they could always find a way to be together. Quick, come on. <laughs> In China, there's a magician who can make anything disappear. A house, a wagon, anything. We'll go visit him. They can't stop us if we want to be together. They'll never find us. You promise you'll take me with you? One day I will. One day we'll run away together. We'll disappear. There's a secret way to open it. I wanted a picture. Time will arrest you and your family. What happened next remains a mystery. We do know that he traveled the world, that he began to perform his magic in public, that he changed his name to Eisenheim. And then, almost 15 years later, he appeared in Vienna. Life and death. Space and time. Fate and chance. These are the forces of the universe. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a man who has unlocked these mysteries from the furthest corners of the world where the dark arts still hold sway. He returns to us to demonstrate how nature's laws may be bent. I give you Eisenheim.
Might I borrow a handkerchief from someone? You, madam. Thank you. Ah, be patient. Now, if you please, I would like to continue with an examination of time. From the moment we enter this life, we are in the flow of it. We measure it and we mark it. We cannot defy it. We cannot even speed it up or slow it down. Or can we? Have we not each experienced the sensation that the beautiful moment seemed to pass too quickly and wished that we could make it linger? Or felt time slow on a dull day and wished that we could speed things up a bit? I assure you, they're quite real. Is it real? And you, madam, where is your handkerchief? all this? I'm poor. Do you think you're poor? Yes. I want to show you something. You're not poor. You have everything that you need right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's yours? And this too. Very pleased with yourself. How are the receipts? Not bad, a three-quarter house. Well done. But we're going to do better than that. Listen to this. Listen. There is no argument that his uncanny display separates him from the ranks of garden variety stage wizards. Some of his effects transcend mere illusion and approach the realm of art. He is very young to be so masterful. You see? We'll pack the house with this review. We are going to make more money than you ever dreamed of. If it was mechanical, maybe he had it wrapped in some kind of bar. Oh, no, no, of course I thought of that. It's the butterflies I'm trying to work out. Oh, for Pete's sake. Visible wire. Too obvious. 
How many men have you detailed for tonight? We have eight men inside, mm. another eight out front. Perhaps you'll get another look at your butterflies. Mm. Inspector Walter Uhl, and I'm inspecting your theater. I've seen you perform. Just very impressive. Very impressive. How can we help you, Inspector? You will be honored to know that the Crown Prince plans to attend your performance tonight. The Crown Prince? Yes. So obviously, we have to inspect the theater. I think that one's a bit small for an assassin, don't you? <laughs> As the orange tree. I have seen things like this before, but. Never one like that. Extraordinary. Thank you. I have been puzzling over how it works, especially how the butterflies fly. I assure you, your secret is safe with me. I'm an officer of the law, after all, and a bit of an amateur contra. Are you really? Yes. Well, card tricks, coins, uh, sleight of hand, mm. yes. But nothing fancy. Perhaps you'll give me a tip. Yes, all right. I'll show you one I'm very fond of. Are you a gambling man? On occasion, yes. I will bet you the secret of the orange tree that I can guess which hand you place this in every time. Excellent. Put it in your fist. Raise your hand against your forehead. Concentrate on it. Form a mental picture. Yes. Have you got it? Yes. Put your hands in front of you. It's in your left. Well... A lucky guess, perhaps. You have a confederate who signals you. No. It's more primitive than that. Huh? When you raise your hand to your head, the blood drains from it. It will be paler every time. Oh. Oh, I like that very much. Please take it, with my compliments. Why, oh, thank you. The plan drains. Now, <laughs> Inspector, mm. if you don't mind, I've got to prepare for tonight's performance. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we might end this evening with a discussion of the soul. All of the greatest religions speak of the soul's endurance beyond the end of life. So what then does it mean to die? I need a volunteer from the audience. Someone not afraid of death. Please. Someone. I assure you no tragedy will befall you.
You're quite certain that we've never met before? Yes, of course. Now please gaze directly into my eyes. Look nowhere else. Wave to yourself. Turn in a circle. Now bow to yourself. must have liked it. They waited for you nearly five minutes. Your Highness, may I introduce Eisenheim the Illusionist? Well done. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, we more than enjoyed it. Stimulated great debate amongst us, hasn't it? Except, of course, for your assistant, Duchess von Teschen. You seem to have struck her quite speechless. Feet in itself. Did you hypnotize her? In a fashion. I'd like to learn that trick. <laughs> Reiner here thinks you have supernatural powers. You make it look easy. Do you claim supernatural powers? I've never said anything of that kind. And you won't mind a question or two. No, let's not ruin it. I needn't divulge anything I can't guess. As you wish. Your assistants are behind a mirror somewhere, in robes, obviously. Lights in the frame, perhaps, to illuminate them, or angled mirrors? That would be one way to do it. I think I understand it all, except the ghost. That was very, very good. Another viewing, perhaps? You must come to the Hofburg next time. We'll make an evening of it. That will be my pleasure. So be it. Sophie? We'll gather our best minds next time. We really have a challenge then. Then I'll prepare something special. Perhaps I'll make you disappear.
God, when he volunteered her, I heard the crushing sound of money falling on me in piles. Every lady of means in Vienna will want to get up there with you now. Mm. What a show-off. His father would have died if he'd seen such a display. She didn't seem too happy about it either. Well, she'd better get used to it. How's that? Word is she'll marry him soon. Really? Taking her chances, if you ask me. Why? He likes to give his lady friends a good thrashing now and again. People say he pushed one of them off a balcony just to cover the beating he'd given her. Hello, Sophie. When I was on the stage, you knew me right away. It took me a moment, but yes, I knew. Could have said something. I thought you'd figure it out eventually. Yes, I would have. I would have come another night, volunteered, walked right on stage and said, hello, and then you'd really have had to move quickly. I suspect you would have. I don't understand why. Perhaps for the same reasons you find it prudent to meet in a carriage. It's just a game I have to play with them. I'm followed everywhere. It's, it's supposed to be for my protection. Yes. So. I hear congratulations are in order. What for? They say you'll be the princess. It's not decided at all. Oh. It makes a certain sense, I suppose. We've known each other for years, and of course, our families. He's very intelligent. A little too intelligent for his own good. You're lucky, you know. Broken phrase you did. I often wish that I had. Wished what? Wish that I would see you again. And now you have. I look forward to seeing you again at the Hofburg. Until then. Duchess Fontaine. Mm -hmm. Anything interesting? See for yourself. <clears throat> A magician. He drove around for half an hour, then he got out near the theatre. What do you want us to do?
you want us for a drink? Please. What is your relationship with the Duchess Plantation? You're right, that doesn't seem friendly. Oh, but that is precisely my point. For, you see, where others might judge a discreet carriage ride, what it seemed to be, I am willing to find out what it actually was. All right. We were childhood acquaintances. Acquaintances? Childhood friends. My father was a cabinet maker. He made the furniture for her family's house. <laughs> I see. The cabinet maker's son, friends with the. Has there been a complaint? Oh, no, no. If there'd been a complaint, no, we'd be having a very uh, different sort of conversation. Yes. He relies on you for that sort of thing, does he? I'm a simple public servant, isn't I? That's not what I hear. I hear you'll be the chief of police very soon. Maybe mayor of Vienna, party secretary. Or subject to his whim. You better hope he doesn't dissolve the parliament before you get there. And the prince has some progressive ideas, but he will make a fine emperor. Well, they say you're very close to him, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Look, yes, indeed, they say that I'm very close to the prince. But the simple truth of the matter is, Herr Eisenheim, I'm the son of a butcher. He's the heir to the Empire. How close could we be to such as him, hmm? You see my point? Don't fool yourself that you can play in their game. I've served on the edge of it for many, many years. And I can tell you with certainty, there's no trick they haven't seen. It's not worth it. My guest tonight is not a showman at all, but rather a wizard who has sold his soul to the devil in return for unholy powers. Or so at least some of our friends here would have us believe. <laughs> but fear not, everything can and will be explained. All mysteries penetrated. Here, here. Well said. Well said. Well said. It's good to see you again. You're a little like. Oh, oh <laughs> Is that the Emperor? Ah, oh, yes, your father. I didn't think he was invited. <laughs> A fair likeness of the old man. Too modern a style for him, of course. I'm afraid I'm not much of a painter. It's true. There are no brushstrokes in this painting. I can see that Very clearly. So to achieve the color, some sort of chemical must be interacting, presumably some sort of sprayer up your sleeve. Yeah? If you feel you must. I do. Oh, let the man do his show. You want me to just sit there when it's so obvious? I do. He tries to trick you. I try to enlighten you. Which is the more noble pursuit? Did you May we have the lights, voice? please? What did so His say? Highness can better see. See here, Leopold. Let's have a show. Here, here. Come on, Leopold. Very well. 
I propose a challenge. Why don't you astonish us, if you can, without all the gadgetry? As you wish. Your sword is very beautiful. Might I see it? Sure. May I? Where does power flow from? Skill or destiny? Rumblings from or the divine right? Now the they stood we all know the story of a sword called Excalibur. Excalibur's blade was fixed in stone. And there it stayed. Many worthy knights tried to pull the sword from the stone. Only Arthur succeeded, proving his right to rule. Who can take this sword? You, sir. Can you take the sword? No surprise there. Perhaps you, sir. Not so eager, cousin. your indulgence. Come now, if you can't pull it out, you'll never be emperor. Your father would live to be a hundred. <laughs> to its rightful owner. That's enough flight entertainment for this evening. For a more serious discussion, please join me for a drink. Shut him down. Well, he's very popular. I'm sure you'll find a way. What did you do to him? I gave him what he asked for. What would possess you to do something so foolish? Duchess Fontation, you must come along, my dear. We don't want to keep the prince waiting. Did you enjoy the show? It was wonderful, wasn't it? It was amusing. I told him if you want to stay in Vienna, you need my help. Ah, so I'm to be driven from the city, is that it? Good. I shall relish it. Stop it! I came here to try to help you. Why? Why should you possibly care what happens to me now? You are my friend. I am your we friend. We knew each other very briefly. A long time ago, you don't know me at all. Then why did you speak to me? 
Why did you even bother to have And you kept it all this time. I used to sit and stare at your picture. Try to imagine where you were. At night, I'd have dreams I'd gone with you. And then I'd wake up and realize where I was. But in my dreams, you had shot. I had no beard. Where did you go when you died? To my uncle's farm near Prague. How exotic. I went to Russia. Then Asia Minor. And then the Orient for many years. So long. I was meant to return. I just... I kept thinking I'd find it around the next corner. What? A real mystery. I saw remarkable things. But the only mystery I never solved was... Why my heart couldn't let go of you. He wants me to go to Budapest with him next week to announce our engagement. He wants the Hungarians behind him. They're going to crown him king. I'm sure his father will have something to say about that. Plans to overthrow his father. That could go very badly for him. And for you. You shouldn't be involved. I am part of his plan. He only gets hungry by aligning himself with my family. Leave him. It's not that easy. Call it off and come away with me. Or don't say anything and we'll just go. As long as we're alive, he'll hunt us. And when he finds us, he'll kill us. truly want to leave with me. Yes, I do. Greetings. How did you make it through the dangerous stranger? So you helped out Sergeant Yard? <laughs>
There you are. As I predicted, they've shut us down. Are you happy now? Hmm? You made your point? It doesn't matter that we were sold out for the whole run. No, no. You got it off your chest. Do we have money? What? Do we have any money saved? Yes, we have some, but we could have had much, much more. Mm, it will have to do. And the second account. All of it. Of course, guys. You have no doubt it was Duchess Fontaine. Let's take my life on huh? What was in this suitcase? I don't know. He's by the first car. understands everything this entails. Completely. As you know, we sometimes follow Duchess von Teschen for her protection. Hello. Yesterday, she was seen in the company of another man. What man? Eisenheim, the illusionist. What were they doing? Well, they were meeting and... Uh, Touching? Kissing? Fornicating? Not that we observed, no. However, I have reason to believe that they may be planning something together. It's possible they may be leaving. I'm not certain of anything yet, Your Highness. Thank you, Inspector. We can, of course, acquire more information than... Spent the afternoon in Vienna with his father. It was expected shortly.
thought you didn't like it here. I suppose you think you're very clever. And very democratic in your friendships, aren't you? What are you talking about? Your magician friend. I know you've been with him. It's true. We've been friends since childhood. You sleep with all your childhood friends. I will not be spoken to this way. You be spoken to as I wish to speak to you. You're drunk. You're getting quite old, aren't you? You know, my mother was 16 years old when she married my father. And you, can you even bear children? Are you any use at all? Are you trying to embarrass me? It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me! You will not share my bed if you have slept with him! You don't understand. I'm not going to share your bed at all. I'm not going to Budapest with you. I don't want to be part of what you're planning. And I will not marry you. I assume you haven't been so stupid as to tell him anything. Because if you disrupt my plans, I will have no further use for you. Do you understand? Now, we will travel to Budapest tomorrow. I recommend that you're here early, packed and ready to go. Do nothing more to embarrass me. Goodbye. What do you mean, goodbye? Come back here. Leave that. Leave all the lanterns.
I thought you saw her get on the train with him. We were waiting in Vienna for them, but they left from Baden. We assumed she was with him. Should I wire the crown prince in Budapest? It's been done. Who are you? I'm the family's doctor. Hmm. Are you the chief inspector? Yes, I am. You understand this a police matter now? Of course I understand. Good, good. You have determined the cause of death? She bled to death. There's a wound on her throat, just above the left collarbone. Perhaps from a knife or a sword. May I take a look? Inspector, I will not stand for it. The Crown Prince will not stand for it. This is not some circus sideshow. My apologies, of course. Thank you, Doctor. Probably robbed. Gypsies, maybe. Saw all those diamonds. Couldn't say no. Chief Inspector. There's one thing you should know. Yes, what is that? In the folds of her dress, I found this small gemstone. Thursday at 7.30 p.m. riding without an escort toward the Imperial Hunting Lodge. Groomsman said she arrived about 8.30. What was she doing riding alone? He did this. You know he did. I know who did what? The Crown Prince! He killed her. He's done it before and you know it. Oh, I don't know that. In fact, I'm sure he didn't. He's in Budapest. He killed her before he left. I'm afraid the facts don't support your theory. She was leaving him. For who? You? Don't yes. Be absurd, Herr Eisenheim. He killed her because he couldn't let her go. She knew his secret. What secret? Ask your inspector. He knows. Stop this right now! Are you completely corrupt? No, not completely. No. Which is why I'll advise you not to accuse anyone, especially His Imperial Highness. Or you will end up in jail yourself. Where's the guard who let her out of the gate? Gone with the crown prince. Did any of the servants see her leave? All asleep. Ah. What about him? He, uh, he put her horse in the first stall when she arrived. Ah. This one? We don't have jurisdiction on Imperial property. Thank you, I know. So what are you doing? Investigating. Not listening to that magician, are you? For all we know, he did it. No, I think not. Crown Prince, he's back. We should go. Now. What have you found out? She was last seen riding here alone. Yes, and based on your information, I then threw her out to... Did she commit suicide? No, it was surely murder. Do you have a suspect? We will soon, Your Highness.
Later that week, we arrested a man and charged him with murder. But I knew that that wouldn't satisfy Eisenheim. I had my men continue to watch him. He finally emerged from his grief and bought a rundown theater. It's perfect. He fired his manager and began preparing for a new kind of show. My name is Franco. Where did you come from? I come from Brum. My father is a lens grinder there. How have you come to be here tonight? I don't know. Are you alive? What can you tell us about the other side? What's it like? Please tell us. You must know things. Secret things. They don't seem to think it's a trick. Eisenheim's audience had always been enthusiastic, but now he was attracting a more impassioned following. Manifestations. Eisenheim has given us hard proof 
of the soul's immortality. The spirit has been reaffirmed in the face of modern scientific materialism. The work of spiritualism will rouse humanity to a new moral earnestness. It is a revolutionary movement and we will turn the empire into a spiritual republic. Do you think Eisenheim's behind all this? Why must I be bothered with a magician? He's proving to be more than a magician, Your Highness. He's a charlatan, he's a faker. <laughs> he pretends to have supernatural powers. Put him on trial for fraud. Welcome to the Klaalu treasury. First we have to show it is fraud. Then do it. Find out how the trick is done and then arrest him. This is just a rough demonstration, Inspector, but you can see how it could work. Yes, I see. Not bad, not bad. We need a spy on Eisenheim's troop. Those Orientals, they won't give us anything. Mm. I already tried. Yeah. And try something else. Here. One of those ghosts from the theater on the street. Yes. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. A little boy. Yes. Where is this thing? Over there. Uh, did you see it? First the orange tree, now this. Do I have to share all my professional secrets with the police? Well, in this case, yes, or I'll be forced to arrest you. On what charge? Hmm. Well, we'll start with fraud. Excuse me, Chief Inspector. What? I think you should look outside the window. Who are they? They're here 
for him. Ah. Oh. My goodness, you have a devoted following. What is it they expect of you? I have no idea. What do your spies tell you? Has your plan to subvert the monarchy, perhaps? Hmm? Why? Just because the crown prince is a murderer? He's not a murderer. We have the real murderer in prison. He pleaded guilty. You've got the wrong man. You don't know that. No, but you do. Yes, and I'm, you will also go to prison if you don't explain to me what it is you are doing. The sentence will be greater if that mob attacks the building. for coming. I have been speaking with the Chief Inspector, and I think there's been a serious misunderstanding. I want you all to know that everything that you have seen in my theatre is an illusion. It's a trick. It's not real. I can't bring loved ones back from the grave. I can't receive messages from the other side. I apologize if I've given you any false hope. My intention has only been to entertain. Nothing more. Now, I appreciate your support, but you must go home. Please, you must go. explained it, so it can't be fraud. May I go? Has he tricked you? Is that it? No, Your Highness. And why are you failing me? I thought I could trust you. I thought you were a man I could bring with me when I took the throne. Am I wrong about you? No, you're not wrong, Your Highness, no. I need men! who can complete the tasks assigned to them. Instead, I'm surrounded by fools. In the end, I must do everything myself. I can see this case will be no different. How do I look? Ordinary, Your Highness. Very ordinary. I think I'm going to enjoy this. your distance. I don't want to be seen with a policeman.
Who are you? Are you Duchess Fontessian? Yes. What's happened to you? She was murdered. Were you murdered? By who? Did they arrest the right man? Tell us, please. Who murdered you? Someone. Here. Tell us who pulled him out. Was it the Crown Prince? He's killed the woman before! Okay. Crown Prince isn't even here. Sure, you have the right man. Quite sure, excuse me. Did you investigate the crown prince? He cannot continue if this is true. He must be brought to justice. It's not true. The magic trick is not evidence. What is your name? I don't see how that matters. I advise you to watch what you say, sir. That actress didn't even look like Sophie. But the audience is stupid and knows it. He manipulates them. He himself said nothing. His actress said nothing inflammatory. He left it to the audience to make their accusations. All plans paid for by him, of course. And I suppose you made a note of those people? I'm afraid we didn't have enough men tonight. At the next performance, I want them all arrested. Every one of them. Eisenheim, the whole troop. I want an example made of him in front of all his followers. That was very foolish last night. No. You can't destroy him, you know. You can't bring down the monarchy. Oh, I know I can't. Then don't raise her again. Don't provoke those questions. Eisenheim, I don't want to arrest you. I'm a cynical man, God knows, but... If your manifestations are somehow real, then even I'm willing to admit you're a very special person. And if it's a trick, then it's equally impressive. Either way, you have a gift. So don't make me put you in jail. Promise me you won't do it again. I promise you, you'll enjoy this next show. <laughs> what do you want? Welcome to the Nothing. Treasury. Then why bring her back? To be with her. To be with her. Everything is ready? Yes, sir. Mm. I was trying to assess how he might escape. He will not escape. I want guards at every door and window. Sir. I want to apologize to you for my behavior of late, but I want to make it up to you if you'll listen to a proposition. Well, I don't know. I'll make it worth your while, Joseph. You know, I'm very busy right now. I haven't just been sitting around waiting for you. No, no, of course. I want you to assume control of all my finances and my assets. Everything. Everything? Yes including this theater and all the receipts from tonight's performance, which I offer with my sincere thanks. What can I do for you? What do you say? All right. I'll do it. Good. Good. Would you like me to introduce you tonight? No. Tonight, just enjoy the show. Eisenheim's manager. 
Yes, I remember. What's going on? Why all the police? Precautions, official precautions. Are you planning to arrest Eisenheim? That's entirely up to him. Why were you murdered? I was leaving him. Leaving who? The Crown Prince. We won't stand for it. I tried to get away. I lock it when I died, but now it's gone. It's lost. Tell us, please, who murdered you? Was it the Crown Prince? We must do something! We must help him! In the city of Vienna, I hereby arrest Edward Abramovitz, also known as Eisenheim the Illusionist, on charges of disturbing public order, charlatanism, and threats against the Empire. Right there. How is this trick done? Not really. How is it done? I don't know, nobody knows.
I had my driver take the sword to police headquarters. My men will examine it and see if it matches the gemstone found on Duchess von Tershin's body. I have no doubt that it will. And after that, I came in here, and you asked me why I was late. You've stolen Imperial property. That seems trivial compared with murder. Even if that were true, you have no jurisdiction here. No, that's right. You may do as you wish here without consequence. Nobody can punish you. Except one man. Who's that? The Emperor. I don't suppose he'll leave his crown to a murderer, do you? He'll never believe you. Maybe not. Hmm. But I wrote a letter to his general staff telling them everything, including your plan to overthrow the Emperor. I know they'll listen to that. You'll not take the throne, not with my help. You no longer want to be chief of police. Mayor of Vienna, you don't want to be um, a baron, an aristocrat? I'm afraid that's out of the question at this point. You fool. He's tricking you. He's manipulating you. He had the sword at the command performance. He could have pried the stones loose then and planted them here. He's planted everything. You're drunk. It's all a trick. It's an illusion. Perhaps there's truth in this illusion. You need to wire your driver and have the sword returned. Or what? I'll shoot you. First, I'll shoot you anyway. And then you'll have killed the police inspector and the Duchess. Or perhaps you'll kill yourself. You uh, committed suicide and swore at having failed your leader. runs the empire into the ground. No one knows this. No one does anything about it. I propose to clean up the mess if you thank me by betraying me. Well, you're all becoming irrelevant. You'll be replaced. The country will be run by mongrels. There's a thousand different voices screaming to be heard and nothing will be done. Nothing. I've done everything I can. Too much. Far too much. I shot himself.
Are you Chief Inspector O? I used to be. She understands everything this entails. Completely. You think I should have behind all this? So what does it mean to die? What do you want? To be with her? Yeah. Chief Inspector, there's one thing you should know. Your sword is very beautiful. Might I see it? You're drunk. You were drunk. He's a charlatan, he's a faker. He's planted everything.
It's so good to see every my f his stone is in it. Nipash, is your brain shell cracked? Bargains with Daedra? I am a I don't know. The shame of it makes me. 